Well, of course, we'll uh, mention again that our thoughts and prayers go out to George and his family. Hopefully, Correct. he's recovering nicely. He'll be home shortly. And, Absolutely. Uh, but the main thing is they take care of him there. So if he has to stay here a little while, as long as they get everything straightened out. And so I know you like whenever I come here, mm -hmm. okay? You know, I like because this is it's becoming a habit. You like <laughs> me to showcase uh, something new. So yeah. I'm going to play a new original song that is that is not on a new release. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's probably going to be a, on the next release. So it's a brand new it's original song there from Motu that's a pretty, we could say it's a Graveyard Blues exclusive. It's then, a uh, Graveyard Blues exclusive. Uh, all right. That's right. You all know. Right. Well, well, I always ready. give you the exclusive. <laughs> yes, you know. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm ready when you are. Okay. So you want to so set it up a little called, bit? This one's called, uh, it's got religious delta overtones, so you love it. It's right mm -hmm. up there your alley. Okay. It's, this mm -hmm. one's called uh, Jesus Going to Save My Soul. Okay. On Graveyard Blues. <laughs> Bottle of whiskey, bottle of rum. How much moonshine keeps you from kingdom come? And I'm wanting to know and for Jesus to save my soul. Devil has his way. He'll be stealing your soul while you pray. Yeah, just tell Mr. Devil you're waiting for Jesus to save your soul. Blues, a Graveyard Blues exclusive here, and Jesus, and Save My Soul, yeah. the brand new one from, brand uh, new one. Brand from new O2, one. and uh, be on the next album. It'll be on the next album. We yeah. actually already recorded it. Really? We actually recorded it. See, we're, we're way ahead of yeah, the game. You really no. are, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys, you're always uh, releasing stuff, and uh, you're very prolific uh, writers and uh, songwriters, and uh, now you travel a lot for your business. Yes, I do, I do. Is I that do. where most of the inspiration comes from? Do you have a lot of time on airplanes or in well, airports to well, write? Well, yeah, I write, well, 
Actually, I write everything on airplanes. Mm -hmm. You know, this comes up all the time. Yeah. You know, you got people drooling on my shoulders. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and that becomes a song. And uh, right. I said, oh, I've got an idea for a song. <laughs> you know, I've suddenly, it's suddenly an inspiration. Right. You know, saliva could give you <laughs> tremendous inspiration. Yeah. Especially somebody else's. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Especially if someone forgets to put on deodorant. Right. You get a real inspiration. And drooling on my uh, shoulder, Blues. So That's right, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, this... Uh, I mean, I'm always in Europe, and I've got a big fan base in Europe, which uh -huh. is interesting because I see you now on the UK. Yeah, yeah, broadcasting, we have uh, affiliates uh, over there on Blues Radio UK. Which is excellent yeah. because I've got a pretty big fan base in the UK, and it's... Uh,